Daniel Lester, and this is my story about how I met Lauren. Um, probably started about two and a half years ago. Uh, I heard about Lauren through a friend, uh, actually my high school or college roommate, Daniel Willems, and uh, he had hung out with her because his fiance was her roommate. And so I asked a question about her, and he said that I would not be interested in her because she was more of a martini kind of girl, not a uh, Coors Light type of girl. So he told me to not pursue her. So, but then time passed, and we finally met each other through uh, a Taco Tuesday event. At a Taco Tuesday with church. So it was a church event, but it was happening at the Hamer's house, and I was pretty much family over there, so I was super comfortable there. And after dinner, we were all sitting around and talking. Um, all the Hamers were there, and somebody brought up marriage. And I'm pretty sure it was Marisa, because she was always talking about weddings, and there were a lot happening that summer. So I was talking about how I think engagement rings are dumb. Um, I was like, I don't want an engagement ring. And anyone who's known me for any length of time knows I, I say this. So I don't want an engagement ring, I want an engagement boat. Yeah, so the poor guy buys a ring, never sees it. I figured if you got an engagement boat, you know, then there's something you can do with it, you know, and it's fun for both people. So, yeah, I kind of went on about how I want an engagement boat, and everybody laughed and made fun of me, and then it was quiet, and Daniel was sitting, we ended up next to each other at Daniel at dinner. We ended up next to each other at dinner, and Daniel's sitting there, and he goes, well, I got a boat. First impression of her was that she was a lot of fun. She really was a lot, had a lot of energy, really enjoyed being active and hanging out with friends and doing things on the weekends, not just sitting at home. And, and then Michael Hamer says, hey, I think he just proposed. So then we kind of ran with that joke for a while. We had some like bantering back and forth and... We laughed because he bought this boat when his parents were gone, and we said he could buy the boat and get married while his parents were gone. Athletic, loved summer, and loved the water just like I do, so we uh, really clicked there, and we had a lot of fun hanging out with friends, and got to be really good friends, and I decided that, uh, yeah, I wanted to ask her out. And Then I got a call once around noon or 12.30 on my lunch hour from Daniel. And that was weird. And I remember thinking, crap. Like I was trying so hard not to lead him on. Um, anyway, so it was Daniel called. Um, he it wasn't lunch. I think I told him I had to call him back. However it worked out, whenever he called, answered the phone, we ended up talking for like two hours. Super easily. Which is weird because we hung out so much. But I think Daniel was telling me about racing. I think I even watched racing YouTube videos. Which was weird. Because it really wasn't that exciting. Um, but then at the end of it, sure enough, Daniel asked me out. And I said no. Asked her out two times and both times she denied me. For the next couple weeks after that, I noticed that if Daniel wasn't around, the group wasn't as fun, which was weird. And I also noticed that if we all went somewhere um, and Daniel didn't sit next to me, I also felt like that was weird. And then I like started to notice I didn't mind. We went to a concert once and Daniel put his arm around me. Bold move, Daniel. He did though. And I, I liked it, which was weird. I don't like people in my personal space, and I did not mind him in my personal space. So that was weird. And But the first impression was, yeah, she was good looking, energetic, hot, um, outgoing, and talkative, and loved to laugh and funny. We could go to dinner just once. We go to dinner, and Daniel will see there is nothing there. So I sat on the couch with my roommate Sherry across from me one afternoon, trying to figure out how to be calm, cool, and collected in a text that said I would go to dinner. So after about like an hour of debating exact wording, texted Daniel and said like, hey, don't think I can do a serious relationship or commitment, but if dinner is still a question, sure, I'll go. And then uh, finally she called me back and said that she would like to go out for dinner. So we went out for dinner, and so the story started. And this isn't this the point where they say the rest is history? Went to dinner. I was so nervous, I drank a glass of wine before dinner. I mean, before Daniel even picked me up, a glass of wine, because I was so nervous. And then a glass of wine at dinner. Glass of wine with dinner. Anyway, I was nervous, but dinner was so fun. We had a great time. It was easy to talk. And then there was a second date, and a third date, and fourth. And it was natural. He was my best. He was starting to be one of my best friends before then, and 
this is where the rest is history. Um, mostly everything I admire about him is the stuff that balances me out. So he's consistent, steady, dependable, loyal, well I'm loyal, but he's consistent, steady, and dependable so I need that since I can be a bit of an emotional hmm, roller coaster. I do remember one of the first things I noticed about Daniel was that he was so um, generous and always made sure everyone was having fun, looked out for everybody, and I loved that. I pretty much knew um, after that night that we had dinner at the Hamers. Um, I remember after dinner at the Hamers, I told Marisa, of all the guys I've met, like all of our guy friends, Daniel's the one I would date. He's quick, he keeps up with me, he's funny, he's witty, he's like super active, likes a lot of stuff I do, and I just, for some reason it stuck out to me that of all the guys, stuck, stuck out to me that of all the guys I know, Daniel's the one I would date. Her Christian faith, I, I know that she is, has a very, very similar faith to uh, that I do, very conservative. Um, I know she's very well grounded and uh, loves the Lord, and I really look for that in a woman, and she uh, definitely filled those criteria. I also admire her and her ability to uh, make others feel comfortable and enjoy hanging out with others and just making everybody, being friends with everybody. A month to two months into our dating relationship, um, I was pretty positive that this was the one because we just really clicked and we were really good friends and had a lot of fun together. And We started dating and we kind of started did everything together and really loved it not that we had to do everything with just the two of us but amongst great friends and everybody and it just really clicked and really clicked fast and it was awesome I was probably ready a lot sooner than Lauren was but uh, just gave her her time and look where we are now look where we are now so that's exciting so. and I think I knew then not to mention since he kind of proposed that first time we hung out, I felt like that's the kind of story that married people tell. So I figured eventually we'd have to get married. No, I didn't figure it at the time. I was worried about it at the time, but I knew then. I knew then there was something weird there and I was pretty sure that something weird meant we were gonna get married. Ugh. Done. Babe. Hey. Done.